Hi, my name is Daniel Bryant. I'm a motion graphic artist here in the Tampa Bay area. And today, we're gonna to be working on my favorite program, Photoshop. And basically what we're gonna do is make a really cool looking 3D title treatment for a mystery show. And all we're gonna do is use layer styles and smart objects, all right here inside of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna select this bottom layer and press Command J and duplicate that bottom layer. Let's call this black background. And let's go ahead and fill that with black. So shift delete brings up our fill options and black works good for me. And very next thing I'm gonna do is Command J, duplicate that one more time. And this time I wanna fill this layer with a custom color. Let's kind of make it like a red. Or we can choose the picker and do it this way. <laughs> Makes it easier. Okay, that color works good for me. The very next thing I'm gonna do is create a layer mask. And on this layer mask, I'm gonna invert it, so Command-I while I'm selected on this layer mask. And very basically, white reveals, black hides. So I'm gonna use that principle with the layer mask selected and a really big brush and just press one time as I paint a white dab right here in the middle of our layer mask. So you can see all that's happening is that color is popping through this layer mask. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate this. So Command J, now we've got our colored background. Let's actually name these, colored background. And we'll make this one our floor. And let's go ahead and just move this down. So if I press V, I select the move tool and let's just move this down to about half of the comp this is a really cool option here in the layer mask if i wanted to detach the layer mask now i can move that layer mask wherever i want to within the comp and kind of manipulate my effect from there so that's cool that gives us a nice crisp edge the very next thing i'm going to do is create the text so if i press my uh, text tool and let's press here right in the middle we'll call this world wide mysteries very cool and this is Trajan Pro bold in case you wanted to follow along all right so let's go ahead and move our text right here to the middle of our object and I'm just gonna shrink this down command T and I'm gonna hold down option shift shrink it down right here to the very edge of our colored background and let's go ahead and select our move tool. If I hold down command and select both the background and the text, I can bring that text right to the middle of the comp. And let's work on the text a little bit, get our look down. So I select the top layer of text. If I hold down command, option, shift, and the less than or greater than keys, I can actually change the size of our text. So let's bring it down right here to the middle that bottom text. And if I select all my text, hold on the option key on Mac, alt key on Windows, and press the uh, arrow keys right down, up, left. You can actually manipulate the spacing. And if I want to do that a little bit faster, I can hold on option, command, and it'll jump just a little bit faster for you. So I'm actually going to do that for the bottom part. Option, command, and move it up just a little bit. And then the top part, my option key with the right and left bracket keys. And it's always a good practice to watch your kerning whenever you're designing, because that just makes things look just a little bit better and a little bit more professional. Even though most people won't know why it looks better, but you will. <laughs> so option, command, let's bring that down just a little bit more. That's good for me. All right, so the very next thing I'm gonna do is kind of line this up with this, the bottom of our floor. And I wanna create a smart object out of this text. And you'll see why in just a little bit. So convert to smart object. And now I wanna duplicate this text two times. The very top layer of text I'm gonna bring down to the bottom and we'll just rename it 3D effect. And the top one we'll call shadow. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is select your bottom 
Smart Object Text Layer. And we're going to go down to Effects and go right down. It's a little bit off screen here for you, but you're just going to go down to Color Overlay. And with the Color Overlay settings, we're just going to select this color here. Let me hold down and select that color, kind of a reddish pink that we have for the background. The very next thing I'm going to do is just highlight it, make it just a little bit more light. And this is going to add just a little bit more to our 3D effect. So if I hold down Command T on that background layer, without selecting the, selecting the attachment for the width and the height, we'll just go to 98%. You can see how Photoshop is beginning to give us that 3D look. That works very well for me. Cool. All right, so next thing we want to do is kind of make this light. We want to make a light here in the middle that kind of sends the shadow forward to give it a little bit more mystery here. So Command J for the colored background. Now what I want to do to kind of accentuate this background, or that there's a little spotlight here in the background, is change this background to, we'll call it light. And we'll change the blending mode to add. And what that's going to do is just kind of brighten things up there in the background. And since on this layer we have this, uh, this layer mask deselected, what we'll do is hit Command T and actually shrink it down. So it looks like a spot right in the middle of our background. And it's just a little detail. Actually, you can see where it's kind of peeking over here. So what I'm going to do is press G for gradient. Have my foreground color is black, and we'll just kind of gradiate that out. Cool, just a little bit more. That works well for me. All right, and basically all we're doing is some minor effects, but it's a cool little detail that makes it look like there's a light shining here in the background. It's the details that matter, the details. <laughs> So the very next thing I'm going to do is select our top layer of text, our top smart object, and press Command-T. And all we're going to do is bring our anchor point all the way to the bottom of the text, go to our height, and type in negative 100. All that's going to do is flip our text for us. Let's align it. So I'm going to press V one more time and align our text with the Move tool. Cool. And now you're starting to see where the shadow doesn't really look like a shadow yet, but we're going to do something really cool to it to make it look more mysterious. And so if I press Command T, I'll select it on this top layer. I'm going to right click and go to perspective. Now, normally, if you are in just your normal text mode and not in the smart object mode, you would have to rasterize the text to change it. This is a really cool thing about smart objects is you can actually kind of hide your layer in this protective layer called the smart object and manipulate it in different ways and the beauty of that is since it's all the same smart object if we change the text all the rest of the layers that have that smart object will change with it so we're actually saving our time our time space and keeping it from destructing our text layer in case we had to go back and change it. All right, cool. So I'm going to right click while we're uh, in the transform property and go to perspective. All I want to do is just drag this perspective out. You're starting to see now how we're affecting the 3D look. Looks like this light is shining down and this object is actually shining forward. Our object, which is in the way, <laughs> is shining forward on this table or countertop or whatever this is. <laughs> I'm going to press enter and let's do this one more time. Command T and I'm just going to make this just a little bit wider here in the front. And uh, there we go. Now we've got a cool looking shadow. Now if you think that's too much, you can actually bring down the opacity just a little bit. So like I mentioned before, your power is in your details when you're working on these things. So we've got our cool 3D look and we've got the light shining for it in the background. Now, to make this look just a little bit better, what I'm going to do is actually add a blur to this top shadow. So if I select on the layer and go up to Filter, let's cancel, Filter, I'm going to go to Blur, I'm going to make a Gaussian Blur. 
Let's bring that up just a little bit. Very cool. Well, 1.5 works well. And now what I'm going to do is select, since we have this in the smart object, I'm going to select the smart filter that we have on this object. And now this smart filter actually works just like the layer mask that we had down here. So if I select on that smart filter and select G for my gradient, I'm going to have black as our foreground color for that gradient. Now I can actually gradiate where that filter is working. So if I wanted to go back into the Gaussian filter, I'll double click there on the smart filter option. And I can actually make that just a little bit blurrier and kind of add that next level step to our text. Cool. The great thing here too is if I select all of these layers, hit Command T, it's going to basically what that dialog setting was saying is it's going to turn off the smart filter for just a moment. And let's connect our width and height options here. And I can make all of it just a little bit bigger. And now we've got a really cool looking 3D title. One more thing I'm going to do just to make it that extra step is I'm going to make a new layer. So Command Shift N. I fill this with gray, so I'm going to call this gray. Same thing again, shift delete. I'm going to go to 50% gray. And let's just give it that next level effect. Filter, noise, add noise. And about four or five is pretty good. Let's see if we want to do it uniform. No, let's do Gaussian. And now to knock out this gray, we're going to go to hard light. Now we've got that kind of noise effect right on top of our text. Let's bring that down just a little bit. This is just giving it more of a stylistic look. Cool. And now we've got our very own 3D graphic title. Now, the coolest thing about using smart objects is this. I'm going to right click just so I can show you. We talked about it earlier. I'm going to double click on our smart object. And now I want to change this bottom layer of text. So here's our original text layer. And what I want to do is double click on it and just change that bottom layer. And we're going to call it Worldwide Travel. Space it out just a little bit. And now if you save the smart object, go back to your main comp, everything's changed. All right. This has been Daniel Bryant, once again, with another really cool tutorial in Photoshop. And I hope you have fun with these design principles and techniques. And uh, enjoy yourself. I hope you learned a lot. Thanks.